take a look at this. Can you believe that? Perhaps even, let's compare it to the size of my head. Andre the... Step into the world of professional wrestling, where size truly matters. Back in the 1980s and early 90s, wrestlers were often imagined to weigh around 300 pounds. Think of big stars like The Undertaker or Hulk Hogan. They were massive, but compared to the real giants we've seen, they seem small. WWE loves these giant wrestlers because they make great bad guys and add excitement to the events, especially when they go up against smaller wrestlers. Join us in today's video as we take a look at 20 heaviest WWE superstars of all time. Number 20. Yokozuna. Rodney Agatupu. Anoa'i, famously known as Yokozuna, holds the title of being the heaviest wrestler in WWE history, weighing an impressive 530 pounds at his peak. Despite his Samoan heritage, Yokozuna was portrayed as a Japanese sumo wrestler, complete with ceremonial entrances and the ritualistic tossing of salt. His immense size and strength made him a formidable presence in the ring upon his WWE debut in 1992. Quickly rising to fame, he won the Royal Rumble in 1993 and secured the WWE Championship from Bret Hart at WrestleMania 9. However, his championship reign was brief, losing the title to Hulk Hogan shortly after. Throughout his career, Yokozuna engaged in memorable rivalries with wrestling icons like The Undertaker, Lex Luger, and Bret Hart. His trademark move, the devastating bonsai drop, became iconic. Unfortunately, Yokozuna's weight contributed to health issues. After leaving WWE in 1996, reports suggested his weight soared to between 756 pounds to 760 pounds. Tragically, he passed away in 2000 at age 34 due to a pulmonary edema. Number 19. Andre the Giant Andre René Rusimov, widely known as Andre the Giant, was a French professional wrestler celebrated for his colossal size, towering at 7 feet 4 inches and weighing 529 pounds due to acromegaly. Beginning his career in the 1960s, Andre quickly became renowned for his unmatched strength and joined WWE then WWF in 1973, captivating fans with his gentle demeanor. His iconic rivalry with Hulk Hogan, culminating in WrestleMania III's historic match in 1987, remains legendary, notably Hogan body slamming him in front of a record-breaking crowd. Andre showcased surprising agility alongside his immense strength, performing moves like the sit-down splash where he would drop his entire weight onto his opponent. Beyond the ring, Andre gained fame as Fezzik in The Princess Bride in 1987, endearing himself to audiences. He tragically passed away from congestive heart failure while sleeping in his Paris hotel room in 1993 at the age of 46. Despite his untimely death, his legacy was commemorated with a posthumous induction into the WWE Hall of Fame later that same year, further solidifying his status as a true wrestling icon. Number 18. Nelson Frazier Nelson Frazier, known as Big Daddy Fee in the wrestling world, was an American heavyweight wrestler, weighing an impressive 487 pounds at his peak. His career began in the early 1990s, finding success in WWE under various personas, including Mabel and Viscera, before adopting the Big Daddy V moniker. As Big Daddy Fee, Frazier became a dominant force in the late 2000s, engaging in memorable rivalries with top stars like The Undertaker and Kane. Despite his immense size, he displayed surprising agility in the ring. However, his health declined in later years, with reports of his weight exceeding 573 pounds before his untimely passing in 2014 from a heart attack at the age of 43. Number 17. John Tenta John Tenta, famously known as Earthquake, was a Canadian wrestler whose immense size and strength made him a formidable presence in WWE, weighing a remarkable 460 pounds at his peak. Rising to prominence in the late 1980s, Earthquake engaged in fierce rivalries with wrestling icons like Hulk Hogan and The Ultimate Warrior. His signature move, the Earthquake Splash, became synonymous with devastation in the ring, showcasing his power and agility despite his imposing frame. A memorable moment in his career was his intense feud with Hogan, culminating in a showdown at SummerSlam 1990. 
Despite his imposing stature, Earthquake displayed surprising agility, captivating audiences with his unique blend of size and athleticism. After retiring in 2004, Tenta battled bladder cancer before passing away in 2006 at the age of 42. Number 16. King Kong Bundy Christopher Allen Pallies, better known as King Kong Bundy, was a dominant figure in American professional wrestling, weighing an imposing 450 pounds during his prime. Rising to fame in the early 1980s, he made a significant impact in WWE starting from 1985. Bundy's immense size and menacing demeanor made him a natural villain in the ring. He quickly rose as one of WWE's top villains, engaging in fierce rivalries with fan favorites like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. His signature move, the Avalanche Splash, showcased his brute force and added to his aura of intimidation. One of Bundy's most memorable matches took place at WrestleMania II in 1986, where he faced Hogan in a steel cage for the WWE Championship. Despite losing, his performance solidified his status as a formidable presence in WWE. Known for his ability to absorb punishment and deliver devastating attacks, Bundy's matches were a spectacle of power and aggression. After leaving WWE in 1988, he continued wrestling in various promotions until his retirement in 2007. Number 15. Uncle Elmer Stanley Fraser, better known as Uncle Elmer in the wrestling world, was a notable American professional wrestler, weighing an impressive 441 pounds at his peak. Starting his wrestling career in the 1970s, he found his way to WWE in 1985. As a member of the Hillbilly Family Stable, Uncle Elmer charmed audiences with his portrayal of a lovable hillbilly character. Often teaming up with his brothers Hillbilly Jim and cousin Luke, he showcased surprising agility in exhilarating six-man tag team matches, despite his imposing size. One of Uncle Elmer's most memorable moments occurred in 1985 when he was involved in a heartwarming storyline centered around finding love. The culmination of the narrative was a wedding ceremony held in the ring, where Uncle Elmer exchanged vows with his fiancée, Joyce Stasco, in the presence of WWE superstars, officiated by Vince McMahon himself. After a brief stint in WWE, Uncle Elmer bid farewell to the company in 1986, opting to explore wrestling opportunities on the independent circuit. By the early 1990s, he decided to retire from the sport altogether. Number 14, Big Show. Paul Donald White II, known by his fearsome ring alias Big Show, made an impact on WWE history across two decades. At his peak weight of 436 pounds, Big Show stands tall as one of professional wrestling's largest and most triumphant figures. Big Show's journey commenced in UCW in 1995, swiftly establishing him as a dominant presence. Upon his transition to WWE in 1999, his trajectory soared, leading to a storied career laden with numerous prestigious titles, including the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship. Remarkably, Big Show's enduring career defies conventional expectations, showcasing his adaptability and resilience well into his 40s and 50s. His mastery of various wrestling styles ensures his continued relevance in WWE for over two decades. Within the ring, Big Show's arsenal is formidable, characterized by signature moves like the chokeslam and knockout punch. His colossal stature and unmatched strength make him a formidable foe, captivating audiences with awe-inspiring displays of power and athleticism. Number 13. One Man Gang George Gray, famously known as One Man Gang, was a formidable American professional wrestler whose imposing frame weighed in at an impressive 432 pounds during his time in WWE. Gray's wrestling journey began in the late 1970s, traversing various territories before landing in WWE in 1987. As one-man gang, Gray embodied a menacing biker persona, striking fear into his opponents with his massive size and relentless wrestling style. He dominated the ring with frequent squash matches, swiftly asserting his dominance. One of one-man gang's most notable rivalries unfolded against the iconic Hulk Hogan in 1987. Their series of battles showcased One Man Gang's formidable skills, even though Hogan emerged victorious. 
Nonetheless, these encounters solidified one-man gang's status as a top heel in WWE. In a surprising twist in 1988, One Man Gang underwent a remarkable transformation, emerging as Akeem the African Dream. Embracing a new persona inspired by African culture, Akeem exuded a lively, dancing demeanor that contrasted sharply with his previous villainous image. While controversial, this reinvention allowed Gray to showcase a different side of his personality and wrestling prowess, adding depth to his character. Number 12. Gorilla Monsoon Robert James Morella, widely known as Gorilla Monsoon, was an American professional wrestler, announcer, and commentator whose imposing presence weighed in at an impressive 430 pounds during his prime. Morella's wrestling journey began in the 1950s, where he quickly became one of the top big men in the sport. As a wrestler, Monsoon was celebrated for his remarkable combination of strength and agility defying expectations with his athleticism in the ring. His signature move, the Manchurian Splash, highlighted his unique blend of power and technical skill, often leaving opponents stunned. Monsoon's wrestling style was marked by a strategic balance of power and finesse, leveraging his size to his advantage in matches. His legendary encounter with Bruno Sammartino for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship in 1963 showcased his tenacity and skill, earning him widespread admiration and solidifying his status as a wrestling icon. Number 11. Vader Leon Allen White, known by his formidable ring name Vader, was an American professional wrestler whose imposing frame weighed an impressive 423 pounds at his peak. Emerging in the 1980s, Vader quickly rose to prominence as one of the most dominant big men in wrestling. As Vader, White embodied a masked villain, instilling fear in his opponents with his unmatched size, strength, and agility. Renowned for his intense, hard-hitting style, Vader's matches were marked by brutal showcases of power, highlighted by his signature move, the Vader Bomb, a jaw-dropping splash from the top rope. Throughout his career spanning various promotions like WWE, UCW, and NJPW, Vader captured numerous championships, including the Juicy W World Heavyweight Championship and the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. In 1996, Vader engaged in a memorable rivalry with Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship, showcasing his raw power against Michaels' technical skill. Though ultimately unsuccessful, Vader's performances solidified his legacy as one of wrestling's premier big men, leaving an enduring impact on the sport. Number 10. Giant Gonzalez Jorge Gonzalez, famously known as Giant Gonzalez, was an Argentine professional wrestler and former basketball player, towering at 7 feet 7 inches and weighing 419 pounds in WWE. Debuting in the early 1900s, Gonzalez made a significant impact in WWE in 1993 as Giant Gonzalez, portraying a monstrous villain. His appearance at the 1993 Royal Rumble where he eliminated several top stars, including The Undertaker, marked a memorable debut. However, his most notable feud was against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 9, showcasing his immense size and strength, but ending in defeat. Despite his brief tenure, Giant Gonzalez left a lasting impression on WWE fans with his unique appearance and matches against top stars. Following his departure from WWE, Gonzalez ventured into acting, securing roles in notable films such as The Flintstones and The Longest Yard. Number 9. Rikishi Solofa Fatu Jr., known by his vibrant ring name Rikishi, was an American professional wrestler whose imposing presence weighed in at an impressive 408 pounds during his prime. Beginning his wrestling journey in the 1980s, Rikishi made a memorable debut in WWE in 1992, captivating audiences with his charisma and athleticism. Famous for his stink face move, where he humiliated opponents by rubbing his buttocks in their faces, Rikishi became a fan favorite with his fun-loving persona. He played pivotal roles in notable storylines, including his involvement in the Head Shrinkers stable and his tag team partnership with cousin Samu. Rikishi's career was marked by memorable rivalries, notably with Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. 
His pivotal role in the shocking reveal as the assailant who ran over Austin at the 2000 Survivor Seer. Number 8. Mark Henry Mark Henry, also known as the world's strongest man, has left an indelible mark on various domains, from powerlifting to professional wrestling. With a weight of 397 pounds during his prime, Henry's imposing presence was felt both inside and outside the ring. Henry's journey in wrestling began in 1996, where his incredible strength and feats like pulling two tractor trailers captivated audiences. His signature move, the world's strongest slam, showcased his dominance in WWE, where he held titles like the World Heavyweight Championship and the ECW Championship. Throughout his career, Henry engaged in memorable feuds with legends like The Undertaker and Kane, leaving a lasting impact on the WWE Universe. One of Henry's most iconic moments unfolded in 2013 when he delivered an emotional retirement speech on Raw, only to shockingly reveal that it was a ploy to set up a surprise attack on John Cena. This unexpected twist sparked a heated feud between the two competitors, with Henry ultimately finding himself on the losing end. Beyond wrestling, Henry's philanthropic efforts for underprivileged children and advocacy for social causes showcase his compassionate heart. Transitioning into a backstage role with WWE, Henry continues to mentor younger talent, earning the respect and admiration of fans and peers alike, solidifying his status as a wrestling icon. Number 7. Braun Strowman Braun Strowman, also known as Adam Scher in real life, is a prominent figure in WWE, renowned for his massive size and impressive wrestling skills. Weighing in at 385 pounds, he is one of the largest athletes in the organization. Strowman's wrestling career kicked off in 2013, and he joined WWE's main roster in 2015 as part of the Wyatt family. Demonstrating remarkable strength and agility, he quickly established himself as a dominant force in the ring often overpowering his opponents with his signature move, the running power slam. Throughout his time in WWE, Strowman has been involved in numerous high-profile rivalries and storylines, holding prestigious titles like the Universal Championship, Intercontinental Championship, and Raw Tag Team Championship. His battles against icons such as Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Goldberg have left a lasting impact on WWE fans. A standout moment for Strowman was his dominant performance at the 2017 Elimination Chamber, where he eliminated five competitors on his own to claim victory. Besides his wrestling prowess, Strowman is admired for his engaging personality and connection with fans, often using his social media presence to support charitable causes. Number 6. Bastion Booger Within WWE's rich tapestry of wrestlers, Bastion Booger emerges as a striking example of untapped potential within the squared circle. Standing tall at 6 feet 1 inch and weighing a formidable 400 pounds, Booger's imposing physique commanded attention. Nevertheless, his tenure in WWE was marred by setbacks and underwhelming performances. Prior to his WWE stint, Booger had a more vibrant persona in WCW, where he wrestled under the moniker Norman the Lunatic. Embracing a gimmick involving a teddy bear, and managed by Teddy Long, Booger engaged in feuds and even contended for world titles against formidable opponents like Ric Flair. However, Booger's transition to WWE marked a stark departure from his previous character. Renamed Bastion Booger, he was portrayed as a gluttonous and unkempt wrestler, often seen in ill-fitting singlets highlighting his less flattering attributes. His matches were rife with losses and humiliations, struggling to find his place in WWE's competitive landscape. Despite past successes in WTW, Booger's WWE tenure was marred by disappointment and unrealized potential. Failing to connect with audiences and lacking significant victories, his time in WWE became a forgettable chapter in his wrestling career, illustrating the challenges even formidable figures face in the industry. Before we move on, Here's today's subscriber's pick. Take a look at this picture. Anyone facing this giant will have to think twice. At a staggering 780 pounds, it's evident that any opponent would be in for a monumental challenge. If this wrestler were to step into the WWE ring, they'd likely dominate the competition, effortlessly claiming all the belts and trophies. With such weight, 
they would undoubtedly rank number one among the top 15 heaviest WWE wrestlers. The closest we've ever come to encountering such an imposing figure is Emmanuel Yarbrough. Competing in wrestling for the Catch Wrestling Association, Yarbrough tipped the scales at an astounding 704 pounds, earning himself the Guinness World Record for the heaviest living athlete. However, Yarbrough passed away in 2015, at the age of 51, succumbing to a heart attack. Another giant wrestler who came close to reaching this remarkable weight was Michael Stanko, better known as Maximum Capacity, weighing in at 639 pounds. While he never graced the WWE stage, Stanko made his presence felt in the ring of Future of Wrestling. Sadly, Stanko's journey was cut short by colorectal cancer after nearly three years of battling the illness. He left us on August 2014 in Sunrise, Florida. Number 5. Great Kali Upon entering the WWE, the Great Kali immediately stood out as a towering figure, boasting an impressive height of 7 feet 1 inch and a weight of 419 pounds. His immense stature alone captured the attention of fans and fellow wrestlers alike. In typical WWE fashion, Kali was swiftly thrust into the limelight, facing off against established stars such as The Undertaker. Surprisingly, Kali managed to secure a victory over the dead man, establishing himself as a formidable presence in the ring. His rapid rise culminated in him capturing the World Championship in just his second year with WWE, surpassing many expectations. Despite facing criticism for his perceived lack of wrestling skills, Kali's undeniable impact on WWE remains evident. Recently, Kali delighted fans with a special appearance at a WWE live event in India, expressing his desire for another opportunity to step into the ring. Number 4. Omos In WWE, a formidable new giant has emerged in the form of Omos, portrayed as an unstoppable force towering over his rivals and asserting dominance at every opportunity. Standing an impressive 7 feet 3 inches tall, Omos presents an imposing figure, effortlessly dispatching wrestlers of all sizes with his sheer presence alone. Omos first caught the attention of WWE fans during Shane McMahon's Raw Underground segments, where his imposing presence made a lasting impact. Upon transitioning to the main roster, Omos aligned himself with AJ Styles as his imposing bodyguard, a partnership that quickly proved successful as they captured the tag team titles without breaking a sweat. Weighing an astonishing 400 pounds, Omos currently holds the distinction of being the heaviest superstar on WWE's main brands, further reinforcing his aura of invincibility. With MVP now serving as his manager, Omos continues to wreak havoc in the ring, leaving a trail of defeated opponents in his wake. With his unmatched combination of size, strength, and undeniable presence, Omos has rapidly ascended as a dominant force in WWE, poised to establish a lasting legacy on the wrestling scene for years to come. Number 3. Giant Silva Giant Silva stood out as the most towering figure among the oddities, boasting an impressive height of 7 feet 2 inches and weighing 385 pounds. His massive frame made him a formidable presence in the ring, although his wrestling abilities didn't quite match up to his imposing physical attributes. Before entering the wrestling world, Silva had gained recognition as a former basketball player. In 1997, he made his WWE debut as part of the Oddities, a group known for their eccentric characters and unconventional appearances. During his time with the Oddities, Silva's role in matches was somewhat limited. While his teammates Kurgan and Golga actively competed, Silva often found himself on the sidelines, mainly observing. His appearances in the ring were infrequent, with his most notable match occurring at SummerSlam 1998 where he teamed up with Kurgan and Golga for a victory over Kai and Tai. Following a brief stint in WWE in 1999, Silva explored opportunities in other wrestling promotions like Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Despite his minimal impact as a wrestler, Silva's towering presence and time with the oddities remain a memorable part of WWE's rich history. Number 2. Bam Bam Bigelow Bam Bam Bigelow was more than just a towering figure in WWE. He was a blend of power and agility that set him apart from his peers. Despite standing at only 6 feet 4 inches tall, 
his hefty 390-pound frame made him a titan in the ring. What truly made Bigelow stand out was his surprising athleticism. While many wrestlers of his size relied solely on strength, Bigelow amazed audiences with his agility. Fearlessly leaping from the top turnbuckle, he executed maneuvers that seemed impossible for someone his size. This combination of power and finesse earned him the admiration of WWE officials. Though he never held championship gold in WWE, Bigelow left an indelible mark on the company. His pivotal role in the WrestleMania main event, facing off against NFL star Lawrence Taylor, showcased his professionalism and skill. Despite the unconventional matchup, Bigelow guided Taylor through a memorable bout, cementing his reputation as a dependable performer. While Bigelow may have achieved greater success in ECW and WCW, his impact on WWE's history remains significant. Number 1. Hulk Hogan Terry Jean Bollea, widely known as Hulk Hogan, towers at 6 feet 7 inches and weighs 330 pounds. He's celebrated as one of the most legendary figures in professional wrestling history. Hogan rose to prominence upon joining the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE, in December 1983. His embodiment of the heroic all-American archetype became synonymous with the wrestling boom of the 1980s, headlining WrestleMania on eight occasions and frequently dominating the airwaves on Saturday night's main event and the main event. During his tenure with the WWF, Hogan captured the WWF Championship five times, boasting an unprecedented 1,474-day reign. He etched his name in the annals of wrestling history as the first wrestler to achieve consecutive victories in the Royal Rumble matches of 1990 and 1991. His legendary encounter with Andre the Giant on WWF. The main event in 1988 shattered television viewership records. In 1993, Hogan ventured into film and television, only to make a triumphant return to wrestling in 1994 with World Championship Wrestling. There, he clinched the WCW World Heavyweight Championship six times, boasting the longest reign on record. Hogan's career soared to new heights in 1996 when he embraced the villainous persona of Hollywood Hulk Hogan, spearheading the immensely popular New World Order stable. Throughout the Monday Night War, Hogan remained a pivotal figure, headlining WCW's flagship event Starcade on three occasions. Outside of the wrestling ring, Hogan ventured into a varied acting career, leaving his mark with a cameo in Rocky III in 1982. He headlined in several films like No Holds Barred and Suburban Commando, and made notable appearances on TV shows such as Hogan Knows Best and Thunder in Paradise. Hogan's impact reached into advertising with commercials for Right Guard, and even extended to music with the release of the album Hulk Rules with the Wrestling Boot Band. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.